easy to describe, but it takes a while because he's proficient in so many areas. He's a very devoted guy to his family, uh, including his grandchildren. He's a very devoted guy to the Lord. Well, Alan is typically very calm. Uh, he certainly uh, is a strong supporter of scouting, but most importantly, he uh, is a, a, a man of God in the sense that he takes his religion very seriously and it permeates everything he does. Oh gosh. Uh, Alan is a very, very compassionate guy. Alan is a great listener. He has a voice of wisdom that's not about him, but about what he sees and hears. Alan has a lot of uh, wonderful qualities. I sort of think of, I describe him fondly as my man for all seasons. I would say his, his faithfulness uh, to his friends, to his family, uh, to his church and God. Alan is not a guy who will do things halfway. It's just not in his nature. He's got a great sense of humor. I mean, you know, I, I have memories of being younger and having to go to bed at my bedtime and trying to fall asleep while my parents had people over for dinner and being woken up to the sound of him banging on the table in laughter at a joke that he was telling. <laughs> the gentleman, I mean, he's, he's, in the best sense of the word, probably a gentleman. But far and away, the best thing about Alan is Joyce. It's been a big part, obviously, with, um, with two boys who went all the way through scouting and, and got their Eagle Awards, and uh, encouraged, of course, by, by their dad. And Alan's been very involved in scouting, too. Alan imbues everything that scouting looks for. If you took the 12 points of the scout law, all 12 of them, they describe who Alan Phipps is. He has clearly taken that beyond scouting into his professional life, into his spiritual life, into his family life, into every aspect of his, his sphere. He is well known, well liked, and uh, I've never met anybody that didn't like Alan Phipps. Even way back when I was a young man, uh, my parents um, always told me that I needed to give back. Uh, and so, that and I think my early scouting days uh, also kind of imprinted that on me. Alan's distinguished from other people in, in so many ways. I mean, one certainly is his leadership voice. He lives what he says and what he believes. I think when one looks at a, at a person, at a parent, I think you also look at you know, what are the values uh, that they have installed in their children. Oh, he's a great grandfather. I think it, by his own admission, he enjoys kids more now than he did when we were young. He's awesome. I mean, he's, he's, uh, <laughs> he loves his grandsons and just plays with them and uh, doesn't ever seem to get tired. I get tired playing with my kids, but he doesn't. <laughs> oh gosh, he's just loving having these three little boys that live nearby and we get to take care of them. We were all blessed by, by Alan and having a great time now with our adult sons and daughter-in-law and grandsons. Alan, congratulations. I can't think of anyone who deserves this award better than you. Dad, I love you and I'm so proud of you. And uh, thanks for being a, a great dad and grandpa. Dad, I love you. Um, extremely grateful uh, to be your son and my life is a lot more of a reflection of you than I used to realize uh, and I'm very grateful for that. Alan, I'm, I'm so proud of who you are and I'm so pleased that Scouting has decided to honor you for all that you've done for so many years in Boy Scouting and I love you. <laughs>